Hello everybody, it's GB. You're probably like, GB, dang, you're looking a little... You're right, you okay, GB? Yeah, I'm okay. Today we're recreating the very first ASMR video I ever published on my channel, and that video happened to be ASMR doing my makeup at night. Hey guys! My name is Gina. Welcome to my first ASMR video. Today I'm just going to be applying some makeup. Um, not doing anything fancy, just what I wear. Normal day to day. So let's just get right into it. And then pat it and then put dots all over my face. Toothbrush looking thingy. It's actually chocolate, like flavored, smelly, but it really does, it smells like you're putting cocoa powder on your skin. It smells really good. So I'll do, oh here it is, here it is, here it is, we're back, we're back, we're back. i do the light brown. And just in the corners, pull it in. lipstick. And I have this one. And I never usually wear lipstick. And I got this as like a sample. Mm -hmm. Like a sample for free. And I just really, I just really like it. So, and you just kind of close your eyes. So today, I'm actually looking particularly haggard. I've been doing skincare and it's been like really nice. This camera um, is like extremely unforgiving. I, I just feel like I'm a little crust like more crusty than usual without makeup right now. But part of that is, is that it's nighttime. It's been a full day of living and it, it just looked kind of crusty. So, I guess let's do our makeup at night, shall we? Welcome back. Five year anniversary. So let's chat while I jump into the actual makeup process. And I'll tell you about what's going on today versus five years ago. Five years ago, I did not have a 75 pound Swiss Shepherd snuffling under my door while I was trying to film. But I'm actually doing my makeup for a purpose. I'm going to be on Phoenician Sailor's podcast in an hour, so I'm multitasking. I no longer have my Vera Bradley makeup case. I upgraded to a My Hero Academia case for my lipstick and a basket from Target for all of my makeup. I was so bad at makeup five years ago. I will either like put some clips in. I'll put some clips in this video for sure, but you should also go back and watch it. It is so I'm doing my makeup, like, staring at the viewfinder the entire time. I'm like, hi, my name's Gina, because I don't even use the name GB, like, officially yet, because I was like, oh, nobody, nobody will want to call me GB, it's like too weird, blah, 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 blah. So I actually ended up deleting this video, I made it private, um, until I name revealed myself once again. Um, so a lot of people didn't know that that was actually my first video. A lot of people think that it's the, oh, like the friend helps you after you hit your head at the pool. But no, doing my makeup at night, first video. I thought it seemed like very not intimidating. I don't know, 
was, I was right. It was like, okay, you know what to do. Just put on your makeup and then bam, you have a video. And I really loved watching makeup tutorials uh, for unintentional ASMR. And I loved watching ASMR intentional makeup theme videos as well. I loved um, channels like Omalsed, Heather Feather, Gentle Whispering. I watched a lot of ASMR, um, but there weren't as many people to choose from. Like, it was... I feel like I could have listed pretty much everybody in the community at that time. ASMR requests, visual sounds one, Tony Bomboni, ASMR Orette, they're gone. I don't know where, I don't know what happened to their channel. Okay, let's get started. I do want to say thank you so much for the last five years, by the way. It's been absolutely insane. Almost 800 videos later, here we are. Uh, so, usually I start out with a primer, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use my Lancome. Idol Ultra Wear SPF 15 in the color 250 Bis W. I think it stands for bisque, like the soup. Okay. And I put it on with a sponge. I just ordered a bunch of these. So I love these are the ones from Target. So I just do like a little on the back of the hand, right? And this time, instead of doing my makeup in my viewfinder, I have a mirror. That is called character growth. So I usually just apply a bunch, and then I'll like go in and blend it all at once. I have a pop socket on the back of my phone. And I have a little, like, stand. I just got it. It's the best thing ever. And I put it, like, next to my mirror. So I can, like, hook my phone up to the wall. And I watch TikTok and YouTube videos while I get ready. I used to watch, like, anime while I would get ready. But it would take me forever because I was, like, constantly looking. Like, reading the subtitles. So now I just try to watch something, like not too gripping, otherwise I get really distracted. Sometimes I'll put on ASMR while I'm getting ready to film ASMR, and I end up making myself super tired. <laughs> I do it all the time. All the time. I've been watching a lot of Diamond ASMR recently. Okay. Is this the perfect foundation for me? I don't know, but when I was cosplaying Bakugo at Anime Boston, a very nice Sephora employee who actually was a GB fan recommended it to me, and I've been buying it ever since. And I love it. Blush. I actually usually do. is the Bare Minerals Endless Summer Bronzer. I use this little guy right here. A little bit right there. And then I do contour my nose now. That's new. I don't know if this looks like trash. Yeah, that's much better than this line. 
Man, I cannot believe that I've been making videos for five years. The, like, funniest thing is, like, the craziest thing to me about all of it is that I've never stopped. I've never not posted or, like, taken a break for, um, it's not trying to be a flex or anything. It just kind of happened, you know? Like, all of a sudden, it's five years later. Are you kidding me? a little bit of up here and here. It just literally became my life. When I kind of got it into my head that like my posting schedule was like sacred. I think, I can't remember when I officially started on the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, but it was insane. Like it was years and years ago. Like probably like four years ago a year into it, at the very latest. Um, and it always just worked for me. And then we started Sponsored Saturdays to keep everything, like, organized. Because I, like, started getting sponsors, and I was, like, handling everything by myself. And then Ben started helping me. And he, like, actually was, like, getting me all organized. And he's like, how many sponsors do you want to do? And I'm like, well, not that many. Like, I don't want to have a sponsor on every single video. So he was like, okay, how about once a week? And I was like, okay, I'll put it on a Saturday. We'll call it Sponsored Saturday. That way we can stay, like, super organized. People know when to expect it. So that became kind of like a channel tradition. It's really just kind of been that way for a long time. So time flies. It just flies. When you're, when you're in a schedule... And you, like, are moving and grooving, like, time just flies, trust me. I just put on some blush. I usually use, like, the, mostly this pink and then, like, a little dot of the others. Cheeks, nose, cheeks. I do it pretty high on my cheeks. Sometimes, like, a little here and there. This is already so much better. We've created insane amount of original characters. I listed them all somewhere. It's like, mm, I don't want to say like 30, but it wasn't 30. I don't think we have 30 original characters. We've done a ton of characters from other media. I've been at least four men. A great five years, honestly. Benefit cookie. And I've lived in one, two, three, four, five. I think this is the sixth place that I've lived. Seventh or eighth that I've shot you somewhere in. Because one year, for like a whole summer, I shot all my content in my mom's friend's basement. I would, like, load up a ton of props and, like, have scripts ready and everything. And I would drive to my mom's friend's house, who, like, was so nice and let me use her basement because I thought it would, like, be quieter. And I would film, like, three to five videos, like, in one sitting. That was fun. Filmed in Chicago, Los Angeles, so, wait, that's more than six, then. I had my very first room that was my junior college, senior college. Then I was at my parents' house for a year. I filmed at my mom's friend's house. Ben and I moved in to Chicago. Then we moved to LA, and then we moved again. Okay, that, oh, I was right, I counted right. Crazy. Just like looking back at all the stuff that we, we've done is crazy. The Reese movie, like meeting people in person, meeting Angelica, meeting Slight, like people coming to my house, Glow and Frivy. Oh my god. It was so much fun. Okay, I'm doing my eyebrows. This is a makeup video after all. I have the Anastasia Bevelieu's brow wiz in And I just kind of, like I do, I try 
going to make this line I've met so many people that have been so creative and nice and interesting. Like TBT to when Charlie, Moist Critical, and Nux, they both were like trying to make content making fun of ASMR <laughs> and then accidentally ended up liking my content. <laughs> so that's how I met both of them. I think that was the case with Nux anyway. I might have to ask him. That's what I remember. I did the I spent a day with ASM artists with Anthony Padilla. That was such a highlight for me. Because I've been watching Anthony's content since the dawn of YouTube. <laughs> so that was such a cool experience. What do you think? <laughs> and then even outside of YouTube, just starting Twitch and all of that was absolutely crazy. But we'll focus on YouTube today because, you know, five year anniversary. And this is just like, I'm forgetting so much. And to just like think that it started. Because some people started making whisper content on YouTube. And started forming a community. And a community that I stumbled into as a high schooler. And all these creators just paving the way. I was so excited to start my channel because I just loved the people in it and I loved like what it was about and I was really nervous that nobody would find my voice relaxing and I still feel that way I'm like listen I really don't have a relaxing voice I just consume a lot of ASMR content lucky there with having such awesome viewers you have enabled me so much to make the funniest videos Shrek and the Bee Movie Mr. Ace so many crazy creative ideas in the comment section I can't say no to you know, how am I supposed to say no to that? How gel. Hold it all in place. Getting Ben involved was a huge one for my personal life. Like, it completely changed the dynamic of my day. Um, which has been really awesome. A lot of people, when they hear that we, like, work in the same field and, like, work together, they're like, oh my god, like, how are you guys doing? And I'm like, literally better than ever. It's so much fun. Because he's quite good at what he does, and then I do what I do, and you just kind of like <laughs> vibe together. We are working on work-life balance. That, has, that is also, it was, it got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. <laughs> like really bad, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But now, it, again, it's like as good as it's ever been and hopefully getting better. It's interesting, like, literally growing up online, you know? Like when I started my channel, I was, I hadn't finished college yet. You like literally saw me become a full-fledged adult. So things, I used to play Fortnite like <laughs> six hours a day. I did that, for real. Okay, this is called Freck. It's for fake freckles. 
It's disgustingly expensive. Let's use it before it dries up, you know? You just do like little dots. You have to have a steady hand. Man, what were some of the most embarrassing YouTube moments? <laughs> do I really want to dredge these up right now? <laughs> I think I've had a few. I was supposed to be on Good Morning America, like, over a year ago, two years ago. But I think I was, like, exposed to sesame, which I'm allergic to. And I got violently ill the next day. So I threw up <laughs> in the Good Morning America bathroom. I, like, wasn't nervous, you know what I mean? Like, people must have thought, like, oh my god, she's so nervous to be on. Like, it was like, a, it wasn't live or anything. Like, no, I just ate a food I'm allergic to. But then I, like, pulled it together and, like, did my segment. Like, as soon as those cameras went on, like, I was there. I was on. I was working. I was like, I'll show you what ASMR is. And then they never used my segment. <laughs> so, okay, I still got a mug. I still got a mug. I dyed my hair a few times, cut my hair a few times. I swear I'm still gonna cut all my hair off. Okay, what do we think about these freckles? It's more than I usually do, but I like it. Okay. Um, eyeliner. I, I actually think I'm straying away from the eyeliner. You know what else I'm straying away from? My joker. Is it time for a new chapter, everybody? I think some outfits, like this outfit, I should be wearing one. I don't think I have one handy. But I do feel like I'm going through some sort of adult phase. My entire life, like, I've kind of lived my life in years of four, you know? And I have entered a new phase. And then probably in the next phase, I'll have, like, children. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm scared to have kids simply because of how much having a puppy affected my life. And I'm like, now imagine a living, breathing human. Infant. <laughs> but time really does fly. Like, I can't believe that Satine already turned a year old. Like, if she were a human baby, like, I'd have, like, a toddler right now. It's crazy. Like, the actual, like, timing of how long a child stays a, a baby is so short. It goes so fast. Just like how my channel is now a five-year-old. I can't tell if it sounds like not a lot of years or a lot of years to me. I can't really imagine... Like, I remember college and high school and all my time before. By the way, I use Stila. It's my favorite eyeliner. I probably used it in my first video. Um, I remember, but it's just like this feels like my life, if that makes sense. Probably because, um, Probably because I chose it. Sometimes, like, school. Like, you could choose where to go to school. You can choose what to major in. You can choose what classes to take, but... It's still... Different than being on your own as an adult. For sure. This is... 
I always buy new mascara. I never repurchase the same mascara. I'll always buy something different. Volume Disturbia Mascara. I don't know how to say the brand. Chivalchi? I don't know. Stop. <laughs> Leave me alone. Anyway, all in all to say, it's been such a fun five years. Thank you guys. We hit a billion views, 800 videos, 3.3 million subscribers. I've met so many just fantastic people who are now literally my friends, like my friends. And I have so many projects planned. So many that got canceled because of 2020. I was supposed to film with Gentle Whispering. That would have been such a highlight for me. And I'm, we, I still will. I'll go back. I had like a whole film crew ready to shoot some videos. Just trying to take advantage of being in LA with um, friends that I graduated film school with. Like my friends who actually went to go do film things and not ASMR. <laughs> so someday. I'm excited. Someday, we'll have to recreate Shrek like we did with the B-movie. You know? Here's a little Sun Saint perfume. I love these little perfumes. I really want to do a ASMR Dungeons and Dragons campaign, but I want to do it in person. I don't want to do it over the internet. I want to do it in person. I want to do a lot. The possibilities are endless. But the first step is, you know, doing my makeup so I can film. <laughs> Maybe someday I will transcend to not wearing makeup on camera, but today is not that day. We had a nail polish collab. This was Sleep Police. Man. Okay. Um, I was gonna use this, the Lip Glow Oil. Uh, but I might be... Oh, come on. I'm like a little undecided. I don't think that was ever in focus. She's going strong. <laughs> I've only upgraded my camera one time. I upgraded my stream camera too. Okay. I've upgraded my lights. I kept buying like the same like Amazon lights, but I finally upgraded my lights. What else? I still use the Yeti. I still use the Yeti so much. My very first video I shot with my I was working um an unpaid internship. Uh, at an alcoholic beverage company and my boss had a Blue Yeti in her closet and I was like, I need this for a project <laughs> and the camera I was using was my cousin's who sold it to me second hand so I could take cosplay photos And then I gave that one to Nips. So actually, Nips has that camera now. Okay. What do we think? I actually might even, after five years, start being a middle part person.
it still look crusty, but like, you know. <laughs> crusty. With some effort. Hopefully, um, I was able to put together another one second from each video. I think I'd like to do that for the five year anniversary. Because we are up to, I mean, we've gained like 300 videos since I did the last one. So I'm just gonna like add on to it. A lot has changed, and yet nothing has. Still, I do still feel like the same person. Um, and yet looking back, like, I'm like, wow, you, you were, you were dumb, but smart, endearingly. I don't know. I think I've learned a lot. I've certainly spent a lot of time on the internet now very active time on the internet um, which has been crazy how much has happened and like how much content has been released and how many creators have started their own journey and yeah wow, right on time I have to go um, I'm excited to be a guest on this podcast and then hopefully after that I'm gonna come back in here into my filming room and shoot one more video today We'll end with some powder. We'll get the shine off. Man, this was an easy video. <laughs> no wonder I did it for my first one. Doing my makeup at night. Don't mind if I do, you know? Don't mind if I do. Okay, there we go. Do do do. Y'all, thank you so much for being here. I hope you've enjoyed, whether this is your first video or whether you've seen them all. I appreciate you. I have had such kind of indescribable time for the last five years, but in a very positive way. So, thank you. I am honored to relax you all, put you to sleep, entertain you, whatever you're here for. And I hope to see you in the next video. Five more years. Five more years. So bye. Thank you guys for watching my very first video. Uh, definitely throw me some comments. I want to talk to you guys and tell me what you want to see. <laughs>